everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem solve cos hx into dy by dx plus y sin hx equals to 2 cos h square x into sin hx. Solution. Given differential equation. cos hx into dy by dx plus y sin hx equals to 2 cos h square x into sin hx, right? Consider as equation 1. Now, we know that the standard form of Linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. Right. So if you notice we are having the coefficient of dy by dx is 1. So we can divide the whole equation with this coefficient of dy by dx to make the coefficient of dy by dx to 1, right? Then, the given equation will be reduced to the standard form of linear equation in 1. dy by dx plus y sin hx by cos hx equals to 2 cos, you can write 2 cos h square x as 2 cos hx whole square, right? into sin hx by cos hx or simply you can divide the whole equation by this quotient cos hx into dy by dx plus y sin hx equals to 2 cos h square x sin hx by cos hx so, if you notice in the LHS part, you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split this into two terms. Then we will get cos hx dy by dx by cos hx plus y sin hx by cos hx equals to If 1 cos hx gets cancelled, we will get 2 sin, sorry, 2 cos hx into sin hx. Right. So, here cos hx gets cancelled from the first term. Then we will get dy by dx plus y sin hx by cos hx equals to 2 here also. 1 cos hx gets cancelled and you will get 2 sin hx into cos hx, right? Or simply you can write directly like this. We always write directly. Then, dy by dx plus sin hx by cos hx into y equals to 2 sin hx into cos hx. So you can write this as dy by dx plus sin hx by cos hx is tan hx into y equals to 2 sin hx into cos hx, right, which is linear in y. Now, by comparing these two equations or these two equations, we'll get P and Q. Where 
a equals to n of this or this. Okay. Tan hx or sin hx by cos hx and q equals to 2 sin hx into cos hx. Now we need to find the integrating factor. We know that integrating factor of linear equation in y is given by e power integral p dx. So using this formula, we will find the integrating factor to the given equation. E power integral for p equals to tan x or sin hx by cos hx into dx. We know that sin hx equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 and cos hx equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Right. So consider integral sin hx by cos hx into dx. We can just replace it by e power x minus e power minus x by 2 by e power x plus e power minus x by 2 into dx. Since we know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx is equal to log mod f of x plus c. Right. Now let f of x equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Then f dash of x equals to e power x plus derivative of e power minus x with respect to 2. Just you can write this as 1 by 2 times e power x plus e power minus x prime. Okay. Or simply is equals to 1 by 2 times derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x and derivative of e power minus x is minus e power minus x. So this equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2. Right. So we have f dash of x integral f dash of x by f of x into dx. So we can apply this formula is equals to log mod e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Right. For f of x equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2 is equals to, you can just write this as log e power x plus e power minus x by 2 and we know that e power x plus e power minus x by 2 is cos hs is equals to log cos hx right so coming to the integrating factor this equals to e power Integral sine hx by cos hx into dx is log cos hx. Also, we know that since e power log some function of x equals to function of x, then this becomes cos hx that is function of x right so here our integrating factor is cos hx now we need to find the general solution to the given equation we know that the general solution of linear equation in y 
is given by y times integrating factor equals to integral q times integrating factor into dx plus c. So now using this formula, we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of given equation is y into integrating factor cos hx equals to integral q for q equals to 2 sin hx into cos hx into integrating factor cos hx into dx plus c is equals to or then y cos hx equals to integral 2 sin hx into cos hx into cos hx is cos hx whole square into dx plus c is equals to you can write the constant outside the integral then you get 2 times or 2 into integral cos hx whole square into sin hx dx plus c. Let f of x equals to cos hx. Let f of x equals to cos hx. We know that cos hx equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Then f dash of x equals to 1 by 2 times or simply derivative of f of x with respect to x. Okay. 1 by 2 times e power x whole dash plus e power minus x whole dash is equal to 1 by 2 times derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x and derivative of e power minus x with respect to x is minus e power minus x which is equal to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 which is sin hx right so sin hx is of f dash of x so we have f dash of x whole square into f dash of x into dx since we know that integral f of x whole power n into f dash of x into dx is equals to f of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c. So we can apply this formula here for f of x equals to cos hx and f dash of x equals to sin hx. Right. Is equals to 2 into f of x that is cos hx for n equals to 2. Right. We have n equals to 2. For n equals to 2. 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c. Then, y cos hx equals to 2 into cos hx power 2 plus 1, 3 by 2 plus 1, 3 plus indica 1, and c. Again, you can write this as 2 cos h cube x by 3 plus c. Therefore, y cos hx equals to 2 by 3 cos h cube x plus c is the required general solution. So, this completes the problem. We have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.